Hey guys, this is Audra Odin. This video I kind of wanted to go through what it's like on set of an e-commerce shoot. I do these um, pretty often. Um, I used to work at Fossil where we shot a lot of e-commerce stuff. So I have the experience and so I try to offer it for people um, that have online stores um, and maybe Facebook stores, Instagram stores, anything online that you see. This particular shoot was for a client called Six and Ten. It's a women's boutique. Um, here you see um, Kim Clark, who's an amazing makeup artist here in Houston, and our lovely model, um, both of the models right there, getting ready. Um, so for a setup at an e-commerce shoot, usually we like to shoot on white. Um, shooting on white is very versatile and can um, be cut out if you needed to. Um, a lot of times people want it totally clipped and then the white ground completely white so that way when it's on this website it's all very very white and it all looks seamless. Um, in this particular case I lit for the background so as you see I already have a completely white background. Um, I make sure that my lights um, blend to that because I don't really want to be clipping these images. Um, and so for my setup for an e-commerce shoot like this, I have, again, I have the lights towards the back and that is lighting the entire um, background completely white. Um, I use a main Octobox as my main light. As you'll see, it's the one that is above and that is directed towards the model's face. And this particular softbox um, is large enough to cover pretty much evenly throughout, um, to probably to her midsection. And I have another light softbox coming in from the left side and that will light her legs and then the floor. So you have white throughout. Um, and so basically this is a uh, four light setup. I um, shoot all the e-commerce stuff on a tripod and ask the model to stay in the same spot. There is a small X on the floor. Um, so she's able to move around in, in that one spot. This makes it so once you have all the images and they're ready to go onto the site, they're all, the proportions are all the same. The model looks the same in each shot, only with different clothing. And it just keeps the website nice and um, cohesive. And another thing that I want to point out is, well, I'm fixing my hair in the mirror right now, um, is working with a stylist is amazing. And it really does make a difference. Um, in the past, I've styled the models myself, so you see me standing behind the camera here. I would go around the tripod, onto the set, fix the shirt, fix the hair, whatever it is, come back to the camera, take the shot, and it, sh it just takes so much time. So it really is more cost efficient and time efficient to um, hire a stylist that will stay on set, who can look at the images, wear tethered. Um, to my laptop there on the right. Um, the client is in the purple and she is able to see what she likes, what she doesn't like, what we want to change. Um, Keegan, who is our stylist, she is with um, KNP is, is her company's name. Um, she's able to look at the screen, go to the model, and fix what needs to be fixed and I never have to move. <laughs> so that's really, really nice. And she is a stylist, that is her, her job. So she is styled for Academy. She's styled for um, many, many other um, companies and especially uh, clothing brands. So she knows how to fix the things that most people don't know how to fix. Um, here I actually uh, went ahead and, and fixed her hair because sometimes when I look through my lens, I see things that um, can be fixed really quick without having to tell Keegan, oh, it's, it's that hair or what that one little thing that I could just go straight to and do it. Um, so it's really nice to have somebody on board that is trained in 
styling clothes and styling models. Um, she is really good at what she does and she makes sure that every image is perfect. And why I like this so much is because I don't have to spend tons of time in post-production um, editing wrinkles, um, fixing straps, taking out tags, um, lint, uh, fur balls, whatever it is. I don't have to do it. Um, the post-production on these particular images went by so quick. Um, like I said, I lit my background to be completely white. Um, the styling and just making sure that there was nothing um, on the shirt, nothing on the model, nothing that needed to be retouched or edited out. Um, the only thing that I did have to do is clean up the floor a little bit. Um, it's really hard to avoid getting marks and, and, and dirt on a white seamless paper, but um, for the most part, I didn't have to do much. Um, I did a quick skin edit on the girls. However, using a great makeup artist, I didn't have to do, as you see, that's a raw image right there. Um, her skin looks great. The makeup and hair are great. Um, that's another um, a must have for a su successful e-commerce shoot is a great hair and makeup artist. So really it's about a whole team. Um, here we have our model who did not shave her legs. So it's a quick little shave, they're offset and Keegan went in and helped her do that. Um, but that is it. I just wanted to let you guys know how it goes down in an e-commerce shoot. And um, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, and thank you for watching.